Hello everyone, this is Jaxus. Let's see, this is a top 8 match between Nick the Snake and G-Man, the Cosmic Destroyer, as his name is fully, playing Zelda. <laughs> All right. Anyways, this is the second match of Top 8, and will be the last one on stream, as the other ones are all currently happening on other TVs. But, looks like Nick got an early kill on G-Man, he's kind of fighting to bring it back. However, he's definitely at the percent range. Death by his own explosion. All right. <laughs> that was a nice kill by himself. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> See, this this battle is going to be extremely stage control heavy because Nick has all the options to just like set traps and mines all over the stage and obviously dense fire. <laughs> yeah, she, she came in here. Came, uh, uh, Zelda. Yeah, Zelda. Okay, he pulled out the state spires from walls and um, just destroy the damage. Um, Nick, on the other hand, can just be like, alright, this portion of the stage, don't go there. G Man has a lot more control over where his do not go here buttons are, but they're also a lot smaller range of effectiveness. Really wow, but they're damage. still doing a ton of work for him. Ooh, the state spires towards head to stage. Totally blocking off all of his ledge options. Nick is not having a good time recovering. Ooh. Well, didn't get the up smash, but definitely got the forward smash, and that will take the stock. Wow. It appears that uh, Snake's jab, I believe that is, outranges Nehru's love. I think so, yeah. Nick's gonna get blown up if he stands there much longer. Hey man, Ooh. reflecting with a neutral. Alright, G-Man triggering the mine with a teleport. Not sure if that was on purpose or accidental, but either way it worked. I think it might be intentional. But, um, ooh, wow, getting to the very tip of the sweet spot hitbox, but is not able to follow up with the up air. Nick dro almost dropping his punish completely on the uh, paralyzer or sleep gun. Yeah. Oh, and then G-Man starts playing basketball with him. Just rebounds him off the dense fire straight into a, a slam dunk forward kick. Nick, on the other hand, brings it right back. Sleep dart, sets up a mine on him, throws him to the top of the screen, and that's done. But with this, Nick has a full stock's worth of ground to make up. G-Man did not kill himself. Almost, but did not. <laughs> I want to see. Uh, <laughs> I want to see. <laughs> Nick didn't really have that many options to punish him there with the Din's fires on both sides. So Probably could have jumped. Yeah, dash attack <laughs> to Clank. What he picks. Probably could have jumped in with an aerial and just taken a little bit of damage for it. But he cannot afford damage right now. You could have short hop. Uh, I believe so. I don't actually know. And no, I didn't. What did he say? Oh, <laughs> come get me. All right. From what I want to see. Oh, so it looks like he's switching to Meta now. Oh, G-Man is switching? No, or Nick, uh, is. Nick is. Okay. But the first game, I wanted to see uh, Nick try to pull up the back uh, pivot chain grab by Sna with Snake. Uh, it probably only works on some characters, and maybe it just doesn't work on Zelda because she's so floaty or something. But looks like Nick has decided to not go with the Masked Swordsman and instead goes for Marth, the one with the tiara. <laughs> but, um. Oh, and this might actually confuse G Man a little bit, as G Man is a Marth main in Thrall and always uses the white costume. Yeah, See, it's not so much of an issue in melee because the visuals are very different. But seeing as this uses all, like almost all of Brawl's assets, Marth being one of them, <laughs> I wonder if they'll have a few mix-ups. Anyways, uh, well, G-Man's setting up his very solid walls of dense fire once again, and I I'm not sure if that actually shield poked or just caught the shield drop. It caught the shield drop. Alright. But yeah, sweet spot forward air. Takes that. Just following that up with a uh, forward 
that forward smash? Up smash? Uh, with uh, the Zelda there? I believe it's up smash. Yeah, okay, up smash follow up. Nick is doing pretty well about not getting trapped too hard this life, but he can't really give uh, G-Man breathing room to set up all those Inspire walls. Otherwise, he's going to be in for one rough time. That was a nice uh, forward smash there. Bye. Indeed. Just managed to catch him, but the stock. Ooh, and G-Man will not die from this. Almost Just get a little bit of damage from the up B, but honestly wasn't punished that hard for it either. And then he, he up beat into a forward smash. Okay. <laughs> but he punished more harder than that. Oh, I wonder if uh, like Brawl, the very back hit of like the very last portion of the move of Mart's up tilt is actually the strongest part of it. Probably. But it certainly looked like it was a knockback. G-Man just kind of chasing Nick around the platform at this point. Dead. G-Man needs to learn to like have patience and recover a little bit lower and just go to the edge or at least sometimes so that it's a mix-up. Yeah. Rather than just, hey look, I'm going to take this hit. Oh, nice. Decides to rush the forward smash and gets a lightning kick off of it. High risk, high reward. Wasn't quite as high as he'd been expecting, I'm sure. But it looked like a kill. It certainly let it set up. And oh, oh that could have just punched him right there. Just barely getting out of that. I believe that Nick could have hit him at the very upper arc of forward smash and it would have yeah. caught him before he moved sideways. And if that would have hit, that probably would have uh, took uh, stock there. Yeah, definitely. Oop, back hit of up tilt will not kill, but certainly sends it way high up. That's a big knockback right there. Mm -hmm. Try to follow that with a forward air that did not get the hit in. Indeed not. Uh, Nick not really giving G-Man that much room to breathe now. Which is probably the best way to fight Zelda, or at least G-Man Zelda. Just don't give them some time to set up and breathe and just keep them off their feet. But Nick there choosing to hang back instead of rushing forward and attack might have... Well, it certainly didn't help his momentum and is part of the reason why he's currently not having stage control and being forced to recover. Through a now quite solid wall of projectiles, but looks like the tables stuff. have turned, and <clears throat> Marth, always scary with Battlefield's platforms and sharking, but G-Man manages to even it right up with a uh, sweet spot lightning kick. I would actually like to see Nick uh, probably take, take this game here, because it's uh, relatively uh, Marth's best stage here. I believe. I know that it is in Brawl. I believe I've heard that Final Destination is actually his best, at least in Melee. But with that, uh, Nick's Marth will take Game 2, and this goes to Game 3. Remember that this is Top 8. If you lose the match, you are out of Top. If you lose in Top 4, then you at least get to advance to Losers Finals and get one more chance to fight for third. And obviously if you win, you end up in Winners Finals, Grand Finals, to try and get first. But whoever loses this game is out. Looks like they're going to smash here. Indeed. G-Man probably just picking it because he's really comfortable with it for all, but... Because that's the favorite stage of your night here. Indeed it is. But beach ball. Mostly funny. Vast majority. <laughs> Well, that's match here. Yep. Uh, ooh, Nick opting to take the slightly more punishable option of up B there. I, I believe it's more punishable. Actually, with that much hit stun, there might have just not been anything G-Man could do about it. I don't know. But either way, but until nice that up B landed, they were exactly even. Uh, same percent, 82. Looks like G-Man's losing slightly in the percent department, but not by enough to be relevant. Ooh, counter. Ooh, wow, and, and then G-Man curb stomps him into the stratosphere. <laughs> G-Man choosing to run away a little bit, wait out his invincibility. If he would have moved slightly <laughs> He, he could have used that as an attack. Yeah, he would have moved slightly. He would have actually take, not take a stock off uh, Marth here, but... Probably Certainly would have hit him, gotten a bit of percent, and not been hit. Or he could have just taken the safe option and retreated a bit instead of 
Well, warping helplessly right in front of a forward smash. Thing <laughs> taking stock off. But with this, looks like things are right back to even. G-Man does have stage control though, until he decided to just run and give it up. But that is a very strong thing for Zelda to have. But he also did have a good up on up there. Indeed. Ooh, the shield damage on that is honestly pretty nice. Does it direct more damage in this game? I don't believe it's that much more, but it looks to be slightly more. And it also doesn't appear that you can uh, shield smash DI out of it, or at least nowhere near as easily. Ooh. I'm assuming that Nick was going for the down air spike there, which would be things right. Oh, oh G-Man save saving him. Nick, the friendliest Zelda, but then just takes him right back to the blast zone. But Zelda's not friendly though. She's a princess so she gets captures. Not so friendly, just wanted the chance to kill him herself, I guess. <laughs> But with this, G-Man sitting on a pretty solid lead. Nick really needs to rush in a bit, get some solid reads, and just kill. That is what he needs right now, and that will do it. Take it off. Still has another ways to go, but it's a very good start. I think he might take his time. He very well could. G-Man is not going to make it easy though. Ooh, That's true. Does not kill, but Nick is at very high percent. Could easily die right now. Like one lightning kick, not on shield. That was a very nice block, and that is stock and game and tournament for Nick. Ooh. Ooh. Nick, that getting the counter read because Zelda's down smash is too fast to do on reaction. Nice counter by Nick. G-Man opting to just take the safe option, teleport away, set up a little bit of a wall. Oh, does not get the kill, but Zelda is now at kill percent. So if he gets this kill and one more gimp, he's right back in it. G-Man cannot afford to let him get this stock. Otherwise, the risk is significantly greater. Opting to teleport away again. G-Man's trying to play this very safe. Because he realizes that he, he really doesn't want to lose this stock. <laughs> Happens more often than you'd think. Ooh, teleports to the platform so he doesn't get punished. <laughs> Can't counter Din's fire if he doesn't explode right away. And with that, G-Man manages to take game three and advance to top four. Good work to Nick. He put up a very good fight on that. But... G-Man came out ahead in the end. I like how